Good morning again. I'm Bob Zykowitz, your host. I hope you all survived that storm that we had last night. I know one lady who did, and <laughs> is my special guest, Robin Legrand. Good morning to you, Robin. Good morning, Bob. <clears throat> and thank you for coming on and been sharing your information with us. I'm glad to be here. Now, we're going to talk about special trips, which reminds me, I want to make mention of the fact that I took one of your special trips just about 10 days ago. We went down to the Riverside Theater, which has been, I think, my third trip. I thoroughly enjoyed that, that show. It was the Salute to Frank Sinatra with four of these young people singing all of his songs. That was great. And the bus drive down was wonderful. All we had to do was look out the window. That's it. Yeah. That's it. You know, that's always a nice venue you know the food is good and the productions are good the food is good the food is very it's good. very filling it's it a is. whole lot it is so i want to thank you for that, that pleasant trip robin no my pleasure so you got some july trips coming up or whatever let's yeah chat let's, about those yeah well, i'm gonna run through them briefly Please and, do. Uh, you know well, some i may you know expand on i'm sure our viewers want to know what's coming up okay on the first of july we're going to take a trip over to National Harbor. And on this trip, you can do one of two things. You can go to the outlets. We'll take you up to the outlets. So you can go down. You can actually go down to the National Harbor, to the restaurants, to the shops. You can do the Capitol Wheel. You can do a boat ride. So oh. you pretty much, it's, it'll be time on your own to do oh, what really? it is you would like to do, yes. So the, the trip will be about a, less than an hour and a half, two hours? Well, I mean, just the time there. No, you'll have about three hours oh, there. Oh, three hours. Yeah, then. so you can pretty much, so if you want to shop half the time and then go down to oh. the other part of National Harbor and do some other things. You and can we do can do things at your leisure. Huh? Absolutely. Wonderful. Absolutely. Good you planning. know, new shops are opening, restaurants are opening all the time, so. As an aside, this huge wheel. The Capitol Wheel? Yeah. How much does that cost to ride? Do you know? I can't. Offhand? I think it's about. Five dollars or so? Uh, no. <laughs> a little bit more. It's a little bit more than that, Bob. For I think they have a little discount for seniors, <laughs> so you might be around fifteen, sixteen, seventeen dollars, mm. something like that. But uh, <clears throat> you know, you get to—it's a view of all of D.C. You know, you get to look out when you're going up on that wheel. Great. So it's actually very, very breathtaking. Well, it's that beautiful. should be a great trip. And it's enclosed, so it's it's um, mm -hmm. it has air conditioning and everything. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, you'll have time Wonderful. to just do whatever it is you want to do mm -hmm. on that trip. Then on the third, it's the holiday, so we're gonna be closed. So okay. actually, you know, Independence Day is sure. on Saturday, so the office is closed on Friday. That's an official holiday. It's okay. an official <laughs> holiday. On the seventh of July, then we're gonna go down to the Marine Corps Museum in Quantico. And you'll have about the same time, three hours, to, mm -hmm. to browse mm -hmm. and, and do what you want there. Okay, you can get lunch down there? You can get lunch down there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the time really goes by quickly. If you, you know, have lunch, you throw lunch in there, then you don't have a whole lot of time to do other stuff. So you pretty much do it at your own pace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then on, actually on the 8th, it's Pentagon City, and that's our free trip. So that's offered every month, once a month, mm -hmm. um, and that's always popular. On the 10th of July on Friday, we're going to go see the Capitol Steps at the Ronald Reagan uh, Building in D.C. They get great reviews. Oh, they all are hilarious. I mean, we, we go, every time we go, it's so popular. You know, I have a full bus every time we go there. So that's I really understand that the, the performers kind of make fun of their bosses. Oh, absolutely. They, their bosses and other people's bosses, uh, you know, yeah. they just make fun of everything. But, oh, you know, uh, they are really, really oh, hilarious. That be great. great show, great yeah. show. On Monday the 13th is the Smithsonian Adventures, which, you know, we do that every month. So you go yeah. to whatever museum you like to go to. It's, mm -hmm. you know, time on your own. On Tuesday the 14th is the Book of Mormon at the Kennedy Center. And it's sold out. So if you're interested in going, we can put you on a wait list. And, you know, if there are any cancellations, I'll let you know. Mm -hmm. But let me warn everyone who signed up and thinking about signing up, there is explicit language and content in this show. Let's say that again. There is explicit language and content in this okay. show. It's raunchy, but it's hilarious. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, either you love it or you hate it. So what you're saying is if anybody objects to the expletives, yes. Please 
<laughs> well, Take note of that and don't absolutely. go, I guess. Well, you've already signed up yeah. and we bought the tickets, yeah. so we'd have to try to sell the tickets mm -hmm. to someone else. We mm -hmm. don't have a, a big waiting list because we actually have two dates for this show, and both shows are sold out. Both shows are both sold out. Oh. Sh both shows are sold out already, but I just <laughs> want to warn all the residents before they go and they don't know what to expect. Uh -huh. I also put it in the description in the calendar just so they'll know okay. to be prepared, to kind of be prepared for that. But it's a great show. It's hilarious. So mm -hmm. I enjoyed it, and I think they will, too. Just kind of have an open mind about it. Oh, sure. Right. On Thursday, July 16th, it's Maryland Live. That's the casino. So, you know, casinos are generally popular here. Bring, bring money. Bring money. They'll right. furnish you quarters for your dollar, huh? Uh, they don't do that anymore, Bob. <laughs> When's the last time you went to the casino? <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> moving right don't along. They, give <laughs> they don't give you quarters okay. anymore. Okay. They take dollars. <laughs> okay, so moving right along on Friday the 17th <laughs> is the Nationals versus the Dodgers at the stadium, at Nat Stadium. So mm -hmm. always popular. And I understand that because of the weather threat, the <clears throat> senior stroll was postponed so the you they actually didn't get to stroll the bases on saturday last uh -huh. saturday so that's been rescheduled so we'll do that again it's in august so we'll do that again the senior stroll we'll reschedule that i i think we should make one point about this baseball game it was my experience a couple of years ago the score was tied in the ninth inning we all got up and left and yet we were told by the driver larry hey i would have waited for you until the game had been officially over and this is something that we should know. And Absolutely. Yeah, the bus does not leave until the game has ended. So he's not going to depart at, you know, whatever time uh -huh. that's on that calendar uh -huh. to get back on campus. He's going to depart once the game is, is ended. So you all get to enjoy the whole game. You don't well, want to, you know, leave in the middle of a game. just. What, to, a, what a nice, pleasant surprise right. to have that, that feature. Right. So. And, you know, so I guess, you know, in the in the comments, in the description, you know, I should put at the conclusion of the baseball game yeah. is when the bus will mm -hmm. depart to come back to campus. Okay. I thought I'd like to make that clear. Absolutely. Thank okay. you for that. Then on the 18th of July is the Marine Chamber Orchestra at Schlesinger Hall. And that's a free trip. I mean, you know, that's, oh, that's all you're free. paying for is the transportation. Uh -huh. So absolutely free trip. All those military bands usually perform, you mm -hmm. know, the performances are free. And, and they're very popular. On the 19th, it's the Nova Annadale Symphony Orchestra at uh, the Nova good. Annadale campus. Mm -hmm. So, um, and that's been prop popular in the past. So if you're interested in that, you want to go ahead and sign up for that. On Tuesday the 21st, it's the Air and Space Museum in Dulles. So you'll basically have, you know, three hours again to tour at your leisure and have lunch and you know, we'll just give you those three hours. You can do whatever you like. And I understand they have a lot of additions That's right. to the Udvar, Hazi, um, whatever they call that. Right, the, the um, museum. museum, space museum. So, um, we, you know, I guess the last time we went out there was a while ago, so there are additions. Uh -huh. So, you know, things change and the exhibits change. So, you know, even if you went the last time, there are new exhibits and different exhibits there. So mm -hmm. there's always something different to see Great. when you go out there. On the, um, Thursday, the 23rd, it's the St. John Paul II National Shrine in Washington, oh. D.C. So, you know, wow. that'll be popular. So I would not delay in signing up for that please, one. Please Because we're only going to take one bus, so... If you're mm -hmm. interested in going, you want to The first up. 25 or whatever That's the it. bus holds. That's right. And then we're going to cut it off at that. Um, on Friday the 24th, we're going to go to Cracker Barrel and, you know, have a little People bite to eat. People always enjoy that, don't they? They do. Yeah. And then after that, we're going to go to the Buckland Farm Market in Gainesville. And it's this huge market with all the fresh vegetables and fruits and even fresh meats like just cut from the butcher. These are really, really, really like organic, wholesome country food. It's great. I mean, it's huge and it has everything you can think of in there. Sounds to me like uh, anybody who does any cooking at home ought to be down there. Oh, absolutely. They have, uh, you know, like Amish butter. They just have everything that you can imagine. So mm -hmm. it's a great place to go. On Tuesday, the 28th, we're going to go to Tyson's Corner. So I don't really need to say much about that. Okay. But on the 31st, we're going to go to the Philip Carter Winery in Hume, Virginia. 
It sounds good. That's going to be a good one. It's a really beautiful property. They have a wine tasting. Wine uh, tasting, mm -hmm. yeah. We'll do a wine tasting and possibly a tour mm -hmm. of their property. So right. that will, and, and lunch will be included in that. So that'll be a fun time. We went to Hume a month ago and it was a great time. So, um, you know, sign up for that. That'll really be a lot of fun. And then you wanted to talk about some of the great well, vacations that. You have about five or six vacations listed in the back of your handout, and they all look so marvelous. Let's, we have about two and a half minutes mm -hmm. to go, if you can cover some of those. Well, the first one I would like to, um, to advertise is the Ocean City, Maryland. That's coming up in September. So we're, you know, we have enough people, we're going. So if you're interested in that, I need you to sign up for that. You know, um, the bus will pick us up here, and it's a motor coach with the restroom on it. Oh, this is not a green spring bus. No, one. it is not oh, a green spring bus. Good. This is a 57 passenger motor uh -huh. coach that will pick us up here on campus. And Sounds bring us good. Back. Right, so we still have space for that. Very reasonably priced, too. Uh, we have Spotlight on San Antonio holiday at the beginning of December. So you'll go down and you'll tour, tour San Antonio. Is that by bus? The tour will be, you'll fly down. Oh, we'll fly down. You'll fly down. Then it's with okay. that Vacations, and then you'll tour okay. on a motor coach while you're down there. Uh -huh. But that'll be a great, great trip. Um, Hawaii by land and sea in January of next year. We could sit and talk for an hour on Hawaii. Absolutely. It's paradise, you know, mm -hmm. so you'll fly to Honolulu, spend a couple of days in Honolulu, mm -hmm. then board the ship and, and cruise the islands of Hawaii. Well, you've got some good ones coming up. There's some great trips. And, you know, and if you're interested, it's so simple. I mean, just every, all the sign, everything is done through me. So, you know, I'll do the work and you just, you know, come in, bring me your credit card and I'll, <laughs> I'll get you all signed up and ready to go. We have a Panama Canal cruise. April of next year and we have several people already signed up for that mm. so you know we have a small group already so if you're interested come in and see me. Robin I was just given the word that we have about 35 seconds left and I'm sorry that the time is going by so quickly because yeah. you have so many good things planned. So all I can say is to the viewer out there if you want to know more about any of these trips Please call Robin Legrand, and your phone number is? 703-923-3133. And I also want to say that the only way you can sign up for the trips is by, with the registration form, using uh, the registration yeah. form in the back of the calendar, right. because you can't call in and sign up for trips. So I just no, want to put that out yeah. there so people will know. But people can call in to ask you questions. Questions, absolutely. They mm -hmm. can call with questions or concerns or comments, but to <clears> sign <throat> up, you actually need to fill out the registration form. Wonderful. Robin, it's been a joy having you here. Hopefully.